When I give food to the poor, they call me a saint. When I ask why the poor have no food, they call me a communist. Chao Boy Seng, comrades. Today, we are taking an epic journey, a journey by rail across the people's land, the people's land of Vietnam. Thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. But check this out. This is awesome. Okay. We have USB. Crumpy pillows. Complimentary flip flops. Nice window. Some flowers. A menu. It's gonna be a fun, fun journey. Get ready for 18 hours, and uh, yeah, my room's super sweet. And I booked uh, both beds because I'm that guy. I wanted a uh, space for my stuff, and I didn't want to have to share a cabin with anyone because you never know who you're gonna get. Plus, uh, I'm gonna talk to the stupid camera a lot. Morning. Hello. Hello. Didn't Charles say? Oh yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Can you speak with me? No, that's all I know. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, America. America? Yeah. How long have you been to Vietnam? Uh, three days. Three days? Yeah. Now go to Da Nang? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there a lock? Uh, no, no. I, I can... Uh, you want to go to somewhere? No, I'm okay. I'm just asking. Oh, uh, when you're inside, you can lock. Okay. Is there a dining cart? Yeah, you need to have a train at the dining car. Dining car? Yeah, right. And sell beer? Yes, yes, I have many kind of beer. Many kind of beer? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, just only of you who buy two tickets? I buy two tickets. I know. I think it's well with you. <laughs> Time and trip and trains have you caught together with us. Here's a food cart. I heard some bustling outside my room at the start. And this woman's coming by with a food cart. Good to know. Options are here. And the speaker hasn't shut up once. We're like 30 minutes in, and it has not. Take it back. Let's see if we can't figure out Wi Fi. Alright. I had very low hopes for that actually working. Okay, three hours into the trip, and oh, dragon fruit fields. We're out in the countryside. It's cool. Tons of dragon fruit. I discovered there's a 120 outlet down there. I also discovered there's there were blankets under the pillows, so I will have a nice blanket tonight. And I actually tested one out. I got on this train and it rocked me right to sleep, and I just had a great nap. But um, been editing videos, been drinking some Tiger beer, and I'm ready to go check this train out. See what see what else we have going on around here. Countryside. Whoa. Let's go. Oh, disorientating. <laughs> now, I hope I can remember which cart was fine. I didn't think I'd be going this far, but oh, wow, you can see some hills and mountains. All right, we got something going on up here. Actually, it smells good in this cart. Found the 
food cart. We got some guys hanging out. How you doing? Uh, we have mangoes, we have ramen. No, you know what I'd like? Um, I'd like a tiger beer. Yeah. Sit up here with this, this gentleman and have a beer. Is this the food cart? This is it? The only cart? With seats and viewing? There's more this way? Yeah. Okay. All right, and we'll buy a beer. He's saying there's more up ahead. So we'll check this out, have a beer, and continue. Not a bad deal. One dollar Tiger beers on the train with a beautiful view. Not quite hungry yet, but uh, we'll be checking out this food soon. I was talking to my dumb camera. Can I check your menu out? Thanks. With a grilled chicken, shrimp, mackerel and tomato sauce, caramelized pork. So far, the chicken is looking like the choice for me. All right. Had a tiger beer. I didn't go forward anymore. An Australian gentleman, Paul. Ended up sitting with me. We chatted a bit. What's up, bro? And uh, yeah, nice chat. I'm gonna go back to the room and then probably head back up there and have some more beers with him. He stops at some station somewhere. Hopefully, I can find my room. I'm not very confident in that. Let's try the door that wasn't mine. Uh, not good. I can't find my camera. Oh, shit. Ha! Home sweet home. I did it. Sun is setting out there in lovely Vietnam. I've been sleeping. Sleeping hard. And I've uh, edited anything I could possibly edit. Or eight hours into the journey, only ten more to go. Oh my gosh! Uh, let's go, go get some food. Let's go eat some train food. See what that that that's like. Turn out the lights. There's no um. way to lock my cabin. It's, uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's go find some food, check it out. I'm actually lucky that I've made it here in Vietnam. They have an online visa system, the e-visa, and it takes about three days to process, and it's $25, and I knew they were very strict about it. So when I filled out the online e-visa, I was very careful to do it correctly. And uh, they asked for my given name, and I wrote my given name, Kenneth, not thinking. And I continued to fill out the form. Send it away, paid the money. Four days later, I got it, and I was approved. Whoa. Oh, we got some meals being delivered. I went to uh, get on my bus. Oh, and they told me it was no good because I didn't have my middle name and it didn't read exactly like my passport. So I went to the embassy that morning. I paid $70 for them to edit it put my name, my middle name, on the visa. And it matched my passport. So I got on the bus and I rode for, I don't know, I guess uh, five, six hours. Hello. And I got there to the border. And they wouldn't let me in. They said that they, 
said that they don't accept edited copies. Hello, you. Hello. Two beer. A beer? Two beer. Two, I'll have one right now. One. Yeah. And uh, they said they don't take copies from the embassy. Thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> you're awesome. They don't take copies from the embassy. And after about an hour, I was declined entry here. I'm working on, oh, what'd I give you? Oh, wow, thank you. They don't take copies. Anyway, after about an hour or so in line, I was declined. So I thought I'll just get in a, another line. And I got in another line. And the second guy actually accepted it after a little scrutiny. And I got in to the country. But my bus had already left. So uh, I just hopped on another bus and I made it in. I think um, chicken breast, seaweed soup, boiled vegetables, and rice. So I put my order with you. Yeah? Can I get the, this one right here? Okay. Perfect. Thank you. As bland and as boring as I imagined it to be. Spice this up a bit. Actually, it's a good chicken. My first taste of seaweed soup. Oh. Well, it tastes exactly like you would have pictured. Slide that over. Get back, back into this. What's that? Let's, uh, let's go forward and check out. The front of the train. See how far this can go. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. No, no. You too? Yes. Okay. Yeah. A lot of. Hello. Thank, thank you. A lot of action up this way. Hello. Hello. Where this leads, I don't know. Oh. Uh, there we have people that have seats. Turn around, head on back to our comfy cabin. Look at this guy right here. <laughs> What's up, brother? How's it going? <laughs> Good. <laughs> and let's continue. Little traveler. Hello. Thank you. And, oh, sorry. Wrong room. Ah, here we go. Back in my room. What the heck is my train? What is my cart? Yeah, right. Four. Fourteen feet. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Well, I was looking. Yeah, fourteen feet. Four. Part four. I don't know. I don't know. A little bit embarrassing. And a ton of backpackers about to hop on this train. Yeah, so maybe a little over a third of the way. How exciting. Well, I got two more tigers. I have a signal. So it's uh, one. 30. Only four and a half hours to go, and it's freezing in here. It's insanely cold. Luckily, I have two beds, I had two blankets, and uh, if I didn't, I don't know, I don't know what I'd do. But yeah, it's cold. It's not that. It's not feeling that luxurious right now, and I'm eager for this trip to be over. It's definitely better than sleeping on a bus. Um, not as fast as a plane or convenient, but so, so far so good. I'll pack my stuff up, get ready to get out there and hit the streets of Danang. I went to the dining car at like 1.30. Everyone who works there was just sleeping on all the booths. 
maybe they're up. They're closed. No coffee. No coffee for me. And we have arrived. Ooh, there's a fire. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Did he sleep well? Yeah, I slept very good, thank you. I like sleeping on trains. Nice and relaxing. <clears throat> so we come in for a slow landing. Did you sleep well? Uh, yes. Yeah? How many days a week do you work? Uh, I had uh, to work for uh, seven to uh, on a month. Okay. Yes, from uh, Saigon to Da Nang. Two days off, yeah, yeah. then back again, two days. Would be worse schedule. Oh, I love it here. Yeah, it's a great country. I'm good, thank you. Good morning, comrades. Our journey has come to an end, this leg of the journey. Anyways, we are here in the city of Da Nang. We got some interesting stuff over here. And uh, yeah, I like to walk a little bit before I grab a cab, get my legs stretched out. But anyway, we will see. I'm good, man, thank you. We will see you later. Ciao.